Kakamoras are going to invite themselves to Mal and Ben's wedding. We built the canoes and the mound already, but we only installed the temporary floors. We needed to use the ship for the story, but we didn't have a lot of time to build proper floors. We're going to continue with the project and build the frames for the main floors in this video. Basically, we're going to build the beams that will hold the floors and then lay approximately five floors in staggers. We're going to leave out the subfloors and side floors because we haven't really figured out what's going on with those. We're going to come back and work on the subfloors and side floors later after we figure out a few other big things. I want to get the big frames and the basic structures done first and then go back and work on the little itty bitty details later. So to start with this part of the project, I cut out a lot of bamboo skewers in various different lengths. I chose the bamboo skewers because they were the thinnest wood that I can find. The sharp pointy ends also helped me puncture through the mound easily. Basically I tied all these different bamboo skewers together to form the frames. The first floor protrudes out the most from the mound and the highest floor or the fifth floor is closer to the mound and also on top of the mound. So these frames are being built as they are climbing up the mound. After the frames are built, we are going to lay the floors with branches. I'm going to install the floor boards on top of those branches later, but not right now. also have to put the coconut trees in between those floors so installing those floor boards will have to wait anyway that's the plan for today's video this is going to be a long project I want to fill up the ship with little tiny kakamoras too I think I will use the Kakamoras more often in the story videos, so all this effort will pay off in the future. Now, I'm satisfied with the frames. They are not glued to the ship or anything just yet. I still need to be able to take the frames out until I get the walls finished. So the frames are quite flimsy, but it's strong enough to hold the shape on its own. So that is good enough for now. I just have to be careful when I move the ship. Because the bamboo skewers were the thinnest wood sticks that I could find, I had to make the branches using metal wires. There wasn't anything else thinner. Based on what I can observe, Kakumoras laid the floors with what looks like raw tree branches. They are irregular in shapes and kind of organic like tree branches. So we're going to imitate the look and feel with metal wires. First, I cut a lot of metal wires, some long, some short, and then I cover them up with paper and glue. And then after the glue is dried, I painted them with beige to match the color of the bamboo skewers. It was kind of repetitive and it took several days, but since I started, I should just keep going. Once all of the metal wires are wrapped up, in papers and painted beige, I lay them on top of the frames. First, I was going to sew these branches together so they will stay together, but that turned out to be a long and difficult work. So instead, 
I glued those branches with a long strip of paper and then painted the paper with the same beige color so they will blend in. I thought about using tape but I have to glue the floor boards on top of these branches so tape might get too slippery for the boards to stick to so I stayed with paper strips. And then I clipped the end so these branches will lay straight and fitting for the frames. So I continued with that process until the main floors are covered with branches. It kind of looks complicated and quite disorderly, but I think they will look better once these branches are covered with boards and also if they are filled with stuff. I think the delineation between the floors will be more obvious then. Right now it's see-through floors so they just look like stack of branches. Anyway, I'm thinking of building more of these props and characters and the worlds as we go forward, change things up a bit than how I used to make my videos. Maybe it might even enrich my doll's world a lot more. At least that's my hope. Thanks for watching.